Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Daryl, and I'm here to read for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for and you can say the next seven days, but we're just gonna see what comes up. This card just came flying out. Carrot opportunity or windfall. So there's an opportunity or windfall that is coming your way. Let's get one more. Oh, here it is. Moon changes in your life. So there's going to be some changes in your life. Opportunity or windfall. There's going to be changes in your life. All is not as it seems, right? There's some hidden forces here. What do we have for Capricorn? Autumn. Autumn is prominent. And I think it, for some of you, it's autumn just about. It's just about autumn. It feels like autumn for some. Not all, I know. We have, we have different climates, whatever. So, autumn, harvest time. Woo! We got somebody here that is being watched from behind the screen, okay? This is like, I don't know if we have a stalker here, or we have an admirer, or we have an investigation that is going on. Somebody is hiding something. The moon would signify that as well. So we got something going on behind the scenes. Somebody's watching you. Unexpected help is arriving. We have that, that, that would be a shooting star. So there is some sort of unexpected help arriving. Independently owned and operated. I feel like there is somebody that is watching you. You may be independently owned and operated. You may have somebody that is you know, not showing themselves at this time. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I, got, I think that we have somebody here that is up to something. Okay, they're doing something. They're planning something. Now, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. So, hmm. we also have a hit here. I just happened to focus in on that arrow, so I'm not sure what this hit is. Ten of Wands reversed. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Emperor, Four of Pentacles reversed, Hermit reversed, Hierophant, Eight of Pentacles reversed. So, we have teamwork. We have working together. There's somebody from your past that may be returning to your life. This, you know, may have something to do with siblings, may have something to do with, with children. Um, there could be a reconciliation here with somebody that you had a fallout with. May even be a father. Could be a father, could be a sibling, could be a child. Um, something going on here. Ten of Wands reversed. That is letting go, letting go of baggage. Uh, making a conscious change. We have some, and maybe you're the father. I don't know. We have somebody here that is making a conscious change to let go of something. Uh, they are going to be cooperating, putting in some sort of effort, um, making a gesture, a loving gesture. Somebody is going to be making a loving gesture towards you. It doesn't have to be a father. This is a masculine energy. Okay. Um, opening up, somebody's going to be opening up to you, um, taking control, taking the lead, and I feel like you are in a in a very strong position right now. I feel like you have overcome some sort of hardship. You can just relax. Maybe you are relaxing. Maybe you're starting to work with other people. Maybe you've made some conscious changes in your life to release some baggage, you know. Maybe maybe you're focusing on your weight. Maybe you're losing weight. I see you being very organized, taking control. 
uh, doing new things, creating new things. Maybe you're being creative. You're getting very creative at this time. Maybe you're you're becoming more artistic. You know, you're focusing on some sort of craft or something. Um, Six of Cups in your future, though, that's a reunion of some sort. So I don't know if you're having a re Now, this is the next seven days, right? Maybe you're reuniting with family or friends or, or somebody that you've lost connection with over the years or something like that. It could even be siblings. Um, you may be having a reunion with somebody in the next seven days. I don't know. This could even be a... It feels like we have a man or... I don't know, it could be children, but it looks like a man and a woman, you could say. Uh, somebody may be receiving flowers or they're receiving a heartfelt gesture. This could even be a past life situation. Maybe you met this person in a past life. You know what I mean? With the Six of Cups, there's some sort of familiarity here. So I think that you're going to be receiving a loving, some sort of loving offer, a loving support or... You know, maybe even a gift from somebody. You're going to be receiving something that is... Uh, somebody's going to be opening up to you. They're going to be expressing feelings to, towards you in some way or being loving towards you or something like that. Um, coming out of hiding with the hermit reversed. I wonder if somebody's been hiding, you know, they've been reflecting, they've been coming up with a plan. Um, they've been coming up with a plan of how they were going to make you an offer. Somebody is giving you something. I feel like they're going to be giving you something. Could be, I don't know, could be even food. Could be food, could be flowers, could be, I don't know, maybe they're going to take you out on a date. I don't know if they're single or whatnot. I do see you working as a team with somebody. I see you like uh, starting at the beginning. It's like a decision has been made. A definite decision has been made to work together. Somebody wants to work with you. They want to work with you. They are willing to put in the effort. They have some sort of loyalty towards you or they really appreciate you or they see something in you that really, that they admire, that they like. So somebody wants to work with you. They may be, they may be letting go of something they were holding on to to work with you, you know. Uh, because behind that emperor is the ten of wands reverse that's letting something go right it is that is breaking free making a conscious change to break free from something taking charge you could be dealing with an aries but that could also be your energy we also have taurus here with the hierophant and virgo uh with the hermit reversed but i feel like i feel like there's some sort of divine guidance here this may have something to do with uh marriage commitment could also have to do with a funeral there's there's some sort of uh some of you may be getting into a commitment. You may be, and maybe you, uh, or maybe we have somebody that's getting out of a commitment. They may be letting go of a commitment. The Four of Pentacles reversed next to the Hierophant. That's like letting go, letting go of something they were holding on to. Maybe it was a previous commitment. Maybe they've been divinely guided to do so. Eight of Pentacles reversed right next to that is letting go. It's not putting in effort. It's like giving up. If this isn't working out. Uh, I think we have somebody here that has been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about, you know, somebody that they have some sort of memories with or they have some sort of familiarity with, maybe even a soulmate connection. Somebody has really been thinking a lot about a connection and I feel like they're going to be, they've been investigating, they've been watching, um, but they have, they've been stubborn and they've been holding on to something that felt safe. I feel like this person is about to open up, okay? They're ready. It's like they're ready to let go. They may have been holding on to something that was fine. They were financially committed to. Maybe it was a financial commitment. You know, they couldn't get out of it. They thought they couldn't get out of it. They, maybe they had to come up with a plan to get out of it. Um, but the Hermit Reversed is reconnecting, coming out of hiding, socializing, um, after not putting in much effort, this person, I feel like we have somebody here that is now ready. You know, they're ready. They want to work with you. And they're going to be making some sort of offers. Like they're, and maybe they're even coming to your home. I feel like there could be somebody that's coming to your home. It may have something to do with plants as well. Something to do with flowers or planting.
I feel like there is somebody here that is giving you something. They're giving you something. They are... Uh, you're going to be receiving something from somebody. Well, actually, we have a woman that is receiving something from a man or however you want to take it, you know. This is a loving gesture, whatever it is. There's going to be a reconnection here. You're going to be re reconnecting with somebody. Somebody's about to open up. They want to work together. They want to, they want to create. They want to create something. This is somebody that is very strong, very determined to succeed, and they're letting something go that they were holding on to for sure. We have the Emperor, and then we have behind it, we have the Ten of Wands reversed, and, and in front of it, the Four of Pentacles reversed. That's letting go. Letting go of baggage, letting go, letting, it's time to relax. You know, maybe this person who had too many responsibilities, they were too busy, you know, or they had too many demands, or they were carrying some weight, or holding on to something that was uh, safe to them. But anyway... Maybe they were self-protecting themselves by ignoring the situation. You know, this may be somebody that... But now, if maybe there's some sort of financial loss or somebody's gone through some sort of spiritual awakening or they've gotten some, you know, they've been guided to go, guided to let go, you know, and, and follow their heart. This is not putting in effort, giving up to give. Somebody is giving up on something that they they worked on. You know, the Eight of Pentacles reverse. This isn't working out. Taking a time out to reflect. Something isn't working out. Reflecting on the whole situation. Reflecting on the whole commitment. Ace of Pentacles reverse. That's letting go. That is. It's like. I don't know, maybe we have an unplanned loss here. This is definitely letting something go. I don't want it. This is I don't want it. It is letting something go that isn't solid, that isn't real, that isn't stable. It's like a missed opportunity. It's like letting it go. Somebody is definitely giving up on something that isn't real, that isn't stable. I feel like they've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening with the Hierophant and the Hermit. The Hermit is reversed. That's like waking up, seriously. I, mean, I can't stay in this place. I can't stay in this cave. I can't stay in this darkness anymore. It's coming out of darkness. It's seeing the light. And, and with the Hierophant right there, it's definitely guided, okay? We have somebody here that maybe has a connection with God. And maybe God is guiding them, you know, down a new path. It's time to come out of hiding. It's, it's time. It's time to open up. It's time to relax. It's time to... Uh, reconnect reconnect so I do believe that we have a reconnection here making a conscious change somebody's gonna be putting in effort they're gonna be trying to prove something they're gonna be trying to prove something There's faith here. Faith is needed. Faith is needed. Somebody needs to have faith. They need to have faith. Seeing very, very clearly what the best option is. Becoming clear of a choice. Seven, seven of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that, is, that it has become guided. They may have received some advice. They may have received some guidance. Maybe for, it's from a mentor or a father or a father-like figure or, a, you know, somebody that they really admire or maybe even their gut or maybe even from God. It's like somebody has, and because the Hierophant is a godly energy, right? Being guided to... Uh, guided clarity because there's some sort of clarity somebody's receiving some clarity seeing very clearly it's like God has said you know you need to stop hiding you need to go you need to come out of hiding with that hermit reversed you need to 
uh, stop. Okay, the hermit reverse is like you've already reflected. You've already you've already done that. Okay, it's time for you to reconnect, open your heart. You're missing an opportunity. Somebody is missing an opportunity by not putting in any effort. It's like the higher power is saying, open up, open up, open up, open up, put in effort. Let go of that baggage of the past. Let go of that baggage of the past. Let go of what you're holding on to. You know, open up. It's time for you to live. It's time for you to experience happiness. Take charge, take charge, take the lead, take the lead, take the lead. That emperor is the leader, that's the boss, you know, take the lead, open up. You're being divinely guided, you know this is a good choice, you know this is a good option. The seven of cups reverse, you know this is a good option. You will miss the opportunity if you don't put in any effort. There's self-protection here. Somebody's trying to protect themselves. I think that's what they've been doing with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like we have a soulmate connection here. And I think that we have a person that is doing some a serious investigation. And it's like there's, there's a strong independence here. But there's a need to uh, take action. If you think about Sagittarius, Sagittarius is very action oriented. It's action time. You could think of that Archer. I mean, that could be the rods of love. But anyhow, it's like, it is the planet of luck. This could be your lucky break. Anyhow, the Ace of Pentacles is like, see, the Hierophant is a god. It's somebody that has a direct connection to God. There's some sort of guidance. Guidance is bringing clarity. There's some sort of clarity. Somebody is getting the, the information that they need or they're getting the message that they need, you know, seeing very clearly, making a clear choice to reconnect, to reconnect. Re, it's time to reconnect. You've got to put in effort. You're throw, somebody is throwing away a golden opportunity because of maybe it's a previous belief. Maybe they received some poor guidance or something. I can't remember if I said that earlier or not, but I think I did. Seeing very, very clearly what the best choice is. There's a higher power involved. Believe. Have faith. Have faith that this is going to work out. Open up. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about defending a position, dealing with oppositions. This is a tough position to be in. We have somebody here that is in a tough position. They're in protection mode for sure. We got somebody here that feels the need to defend themselves and push people away. I also feel like we have somebody that is caught off guard. They're caught off guard by uh, I don't know, maybe there's multiple options here. It's right next to the Seven of Cups reversed. It feels like there's so many options. There's so many choices. You know, you need to make a choice. You need to choose wisely. Choose, make a choice. Choose wisely. Go down that path. Let go of your fear. Stop, stop exploring your options. Make your choice. Come on now. Something about options, a lot of options. Choose, make your choice. You're being guided to make your choice, whatever that is. Make your choice. You're gonna there's options here. There's competition. There is definitely competition. Opening up, letting go. Being caught off guard. 
somebody is going to be caught off guard. If somebody has that has been hiding something, somebody's about to take action. You may need to protect yourself as well. I mean, I just got to be honest. That is a major disruption, right? This is a major life change. Starting with a clean slate. Some of you may be moving. This is a shock. It is a surprise. This is a, this is a false sense of security that is crumbling. Light being shed. So there is some sort of light that's going to be shed. And you need to let go of your fear. I feel like you're really in defense mode. Maybe you feel the need to defend yourself. Maybe you need to let your guard down. I feel like you're about to receive a surprise. I do. I feel like you're about to receive a surprise. I feel like your whole foundation is changing. I feel like your life is changing. making a conscious change to work together with somebody that you have a deep connection with. You know who this person is already, but I feel like you've either pushed them away or they've pushed you away. There's a need to open up. There's a need to let go of the baggage, to let go of the dead weight that's holding you down. Let go of your fear. Have faith, have faith, have faith, have faith. Believe, believe, listen, listen. It's like listen to what God has to say. It's like, it's like God is trying to tell you to fight for something that is slipping away. Something is slipping away and it feels like because there's stubbornness here with the Four of Pentacles. You know, that stubbornness, getting the, a, a stubborn belief. You know, if you... Sometimes, you know, you have to change your beliefs to have happiness. I mean, I hate to say that, but it feels like your time of being in hermit mode, your time of introspection is over. The hermit is reversed. It's over. It's over. It's time to reconnect. It's time to socialize. It's, it's time to make your choice and go down that path. Something to do with marriage or commitment here. This is a major event. It's a life-changing event. Starting over with a clean slate. Building a new foundation. A complete shock. You are about to be shocked in some way. You're about to be shocked. Sudden change, sudden change. Queen of Cups reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that is not very uh, loving. They're not very loving. They're, they may not be emotionally available. Letting go, letting go of somebody that doesn't love them. It could be an unrequited love situation. This person may be, uh, have a victim mentality. Somebody may, needs to uh, follow their heart. They need to open their heart. They need to make themselves emotionally available. They've been guarding their heart, protecting their heart because of somebody that didn't love them. That's ego.
I feel like we have an emotional release here. Somebody is being guided to open their heart. We have a protector here. We do have a protector here. Somebody that is loyal. That will protect you. Somebody is choosing to let go of somebody that is not emotionally invested, that fights with them all the time, that is only holding on to them for money or insecurity reasons, security reasons. Letting go of a third party dis situation, making a definite choice gonna fight for a better option opening up coming out of hiding going down a new path letting something go that isn't solid isn't stable that isn't working out focusing on a new prospect and that's what i got good luck